If I were Renegade, I'd take care of this whole damn situation right now. Hey, welcome back to more Mass Effect 2. I'm Slim Madsen. Last time, we landed here on Iaea, or however you pronounce it, and we are helping out Jacob with his daddy issues, because everyone has daddy issues in this game. Uh, so yeah, we are getting there. We are advancing along. We came across this... And we have been met by a couple of security mechs. Uh, this mission is largely mechs and those hunters, uh, so it's pretty easy, honestly. A competent leader never needs to use violence against his own. Well, that would make them hate him. Or maybe it was just for defense. We'll certainly go and check in with this lady. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. He wasn't command material and it got to him. Couldn't keep the crew in line without violence. It didn't stop there. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle, or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and the women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Yeah. Yeah. I I love this mission because of just how fucked up it is. Like it is very much No, it's a dark mission. The only problem is that it's Jacob's. And Jacob sucks. Anyways, mech. Really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Yeah. Fuck Jacob's dad. The post corpse has been there a long time. A warning. These others, a month. And left where they fell. The hunters started fighting back. This mission honestly is probably one of my more well life yeah. loyalty missions. It's just that it's Jacob's, so not I'm never in a rush to do this because I don't give a shit about Jacob. Yeah, this 
seeing. I mean, I, if I recall, Jacob never really got a line with his dad in the first place, but uh, even still, can't exactly say that. I'm sure he wanted to, you know, see everything that his dad was being an absolute douche nozzle about. Okay, well, being a douche nozzle, probably an understatement to be fair. Uh, we can tech armor up. Let's keep gunning down the Loki. You can eat you, I guess. One less to worry. There are a surprising number of mechs, but they're Lokis. So Yeah, it they're Loki's, some of the worst enemies in the game. Even if there's a lot of them, still not exactly difficult. That's it, there are indeed a lot of them. But I got an idea. Did a lot less because they still had armor. He had his fun. Now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Yeah. This looks interesting. Oh, well, at least we get some heavy pistol damage, which is always really good. Uh, even though they're just pistols, heavy the the pistol class is honestly one of the better ones in the entire game. I feel like um, they're just very good and reliable. The only problem is really they don't have too much ammo, but like, overall, pistols are really solid. Thank you, Samara. Requesting assist back. Requesting assist back. Engaged. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. And we get into the lovely glitch state right before the final confrontation. Enemy combat drones. This part of mission can be a little bit difficult. Um, I don't think it's actually here yet, but there is an Amir that'll show up. So I think it fights the hunters, I recall. Oh wow, well, thanks Jacob. Real useful out there, buddy. Just keep rolling along. There's the okay. It does not fight back against them, but it does exist. And I think some Mars is about to go down. Yep. Let's run back here a little bit. Take care of the. Brainwashed guards first. Little guys first. Then the big guy. 
Shield down. I did say this part could be a bit tricky. Ah, fuck. I think we got all the small guys down. Nope. One more guard. We can just quick take care of. A one on one with an Amir isn't too bad if you're just patient. Problem is, I am not patient. Case in points. Okay, really? You're shooting through the geometry, sir. That is not allowed. I can't do that. Uh, let's pull out the pistol for that. Of course, we warp. That did not curve nearly as much as I thought it would. That one did. Really just doing a Tom and Jerry right here. I don't know if I actually did a Tom and Jerry. It's been a while since I've watched anything from them. Back as a kid though, I always watched like right before right before school, I would always Sit at my, uh, it's like, sit, eat some cereal, watch Tom and Jerry, before school. Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Oh yeah, we also killed the Amir, by the way. Uh, I think that's it. I've, I've missed that heavy pistol damage every so often, but... Not much, but it is something. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I believe you're acquainted with Mr. Taylor. Taylor? Jacob? No. Not Jacob. Why not me? Would ten years of this look better to anyone else in the galaxy? You have to understand. This isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. 
at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I think we have a reasonable idea. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Cerberus and Maya are being treated by Alliance personnel with additional Cerberus support. Please see Taylor unharmed psychologically by experience. Jacob Taylor has dealt with his father and is now focused solely on the mission. Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors, Commander. We could be long gone by the time they get here. Don't even give them the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Really? Because given the result, it feels like something you'd have your hands in. You know very little about me, Shepard. Don't presume to understand my intentions. Cerberus is ultimately about humanity. My people are valuable to me. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. 
You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. And so, with... With Jacob's father confirmed dead, let's just say, that'll do it for this time. And next time, we're gonna go and chat with the crew, and if we have time, then we're gonna start and finish Samara's mission. But until then, see you guys later.